a place of prophecy, it's a place of testimony, reaching out to the world, we are the world we formerly, we are an empty place for gospel, to heal the broken heart, we said the God of the free, we are VP, yeah, but we like, Welcome on board, Pamela. The time has come. Ekande Benedict, welcome on board. Deborah Edward, welcome on board. Emmanuel Dalad, welcome on board. Anita, welcome on board. Amaka, welcome on board. Welcome on board. Shall come here, keep sharing. Your time has come, Valerie. Welcome on board, Valerie. Bless you, daughter, Valerie. I see your husband. Bless you, Deborah Godwin. Welcome on board, my new brother Vitoros, Victoria, welcome on board. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you're coming in, keep sharing. Your time has come. Amazon Joshua, welcome on board. Who are just here, welcome on board. Tali Root, welcome on board. Yeah. Rebecca Soya, welcome on board. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are champion. We are victorious. Ma Ada Ada, welcome on board. Iyabo Ogum, welcome on board. Augustine Dadu, Augustine Dadu, welcome on board. Louis Chas, Cherry, welcome on board. Love you. Choosing Venom, welcome on board. Esteem Atone Eye Dane, welcome on board. Thank you, Jesus. We are champion. Mother Eko Krog. We come on board. Keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing. If you're not know, sharing, keep sharing, please. Try off him. We come on board. Margaret. So now we come on board. Your body will come on board. Thank you, Jesus. Maria Madu Queen, welcome on board. Margaret, welcome on board. Triophim, welcome on board. Amazon, Joshua, welcome on board. Scott, Everett, Scott, welcome on board. Apofi, Asunia, welcome on board. Please keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing. Your time has come. Idamat Marita, Uposim. You will come aboard. What a mighty God will serve, God dream. It did begin. I come aboard. Thank you, God dream. Let the body be numb. I still with God dream. And I still with Marita too. Well, thank you. Thank you for take off me when I needed you. No? Bless you, bless you, bless you. What a mighty God we serve. Father, thank you, Lord, for this blessed morning, Lord Jesus. We say thank you for waking us up this morning. Many went to sleep last night and they could not wake up. But because we love you, you keep us alive, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We will come against every attack of the enemy. Anyway, the enemy have come to sow tears in our life. We will put it as we go back to Seda. Every arrow that God has not, every arrow the enemy has released. We say go back to Seda. Whatever God has not planted in our life, let they be uprooted and return back to Seda this morning. In the name of Jesus, blessed Holy Spirit, we acknowledge your presence. We say welcome. Take charge of the viewers watching us now. Meet all our need in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Rosemary, Rebecca, Valerie, Divine Augustine, Mercy Paul, yeah. As many coming in now, please keep sharing. Dottery, Mosfas, yes, Titi Layo, Titi, yes, Elizabeth Ogumonem. As many coming in, Sophia, keep sharing, keep sharing. Omoroye, Omoroye, welcome on board. Yes, welcome on board. Tuesday, welcome on board. Triumph, welcome on board. You will triumph. Anna, Kamara, welcome on board. Divan Augusti, welcome on board. What a mighty God we serve this morning. I just lay in my heart that it will take you from story 
to testimony. Philomena Basaki is taken from life of story to a life of testimony. In the remaining weeks of this year, <laughs> you are in for unlimited testimony, unlimited testimony. I'm going to tell you that every promise of God in your life, they will surely come to pass. Every promise of God in your life, they will surely come to pass. This morning, whatever is your expectation, whatever is your desire, whatever is your request, whatever is your need after this ekata, they shall be delivered into your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God is not a man that he should lie. Mm -mm. Whatever he has promised you is committed to be there to pass. Today he brought to pass what he has promised me. And there are some things I don't even know that he has promised that, they, that will still come to pass. That's the God we serve. I prefer, as many that are watching this morning, that this is your season. For a miracle, for a miraculous testimony. Today you will encounter a divine restoration in every area of your life. Today is a teaching that will catapult you into your desired testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning you will hear and receive the word for your supernatural change, the word for your next level of promotion, the word for your next level lifting. Is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. A, a, a divine intervention is coming to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, I declare whatever will block you, your ears, from hearing the word of your lifting is hereby lifted off you now in the name of Jesus. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will fulfill, you will be fulfilling life. I see you'll be fulfilling in life, Lorraine, Lorraine Grace. You'll be fulfilling in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Joyce, our sister, you'll be fulfilling in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Go dancing. You'll be fulfilling in life, Pastor Sunday. You'll be fulfilling in life. Adela Jesus, you'll be fulfilling in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Dominion, Domin where? You'll be fulfilling in life. You'll be fulfilling in life. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Gumanan, you'll be fulfilling in life. Rose John, you be fulfilled in life in the name of Jesus. You be fulfilled in life in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare what God has what God has said concerning you before you were born. They must surely come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, Pamela, they must come to pass. In Festus, they must come to pass. Sophia, they must come to pass. Triumph, they must come to pass. Triumph, I declare. That whatever your father went through, try off. You will not go it. You will not go through it. In the name of Jesus, you will not go through it. I don't know why that tickles my mind when I'm saying try off. You that name will, be, will speak for you. That name try off will speak for you. The foundation that your father comes from will not owe you down in the mighty name of Jesus. On the face, in Ketchuku, your time has come. In the mighty name of Jesus, your time has come. Every blood that God has not planted in your life is uprooted this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever star between you and your promised land shall be rolled away from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes, best Ben second Pastor, you will be fulfilling in life in the name of Jesus. The plan God has towards you must surely come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Your miracle shall be delivered into your other which brought to you for the Lord this morning. Shall receive an answer of peace. God will intervene in that situation and put a new song and testimony in your mind. I see you making it in a way that will baffle your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see what seems to be impossible shall become the road to your breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Second King 7 verse 1 to 8. And Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, 
tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fan flour be sold for a shaking and two measure of barley, barley for a shaking in the gate of Samaria. Then, it, then the Lord, that, it, it, that, then a Lord on which had the king learned, as said the man of God, and said, Behold, if the Lord would make widows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes, but shalt not, but shalt not eat thereof for thereof. And there were four lepers men at the entry of the gate. And they said to one another, What sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we shall, shall die there. And if we sit still here, we, or we will die also. Now therefore come and let us fall unto the host of the Samaria. If they save us alive, we shall live. If they kill us, we shall but die. And they rose up in the twerk to go into the camp of the Syria. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord has made the host of the Syria to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even in the noise of a great host. And they said one another, Lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the king of Ethiopia. And the king of Egypt to whom upon us. Wherefore they arose and flew in the twerk and left their tent and their host and their asses, their asses, even the cap as it was, and they flew from their life. And when those lepers came to the uttermost part of the cap, they went into one tent and they did eat and drink, carrying towards silver and gold. A remnant and wet and add it and came again and entered into another tent and carried it to us also and wet and add it and declared whatever you have lost, you are set for total recovery. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are set for total recovery. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God is a God of testimony. It's a God of testimony. Every manifestation of the power of God always result in testimony. Every man or woman, whoever a character God in the Bible, always return with testimony. That's why I know there's someone watching me right now. God said I should tell you that you have entered into your season of testimony. I said you have entered into your season of testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Psalm 38 verse 5, for he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he command our father that they should make them know to their children. God has established testimony for you. Mm -hmm. The plan of God for you that you that, the plan of God for you that is that you should live a life of testimony. That's what God you. God has never ordained you for a story. God is not a storyteller. God has the power to turn you from story to testimony. He is a God of power. And today, He will step into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The God of power will step into your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And everywhere His power is showcased. Testimony must follow by force. This morning, testimony will follow you by force. I don't care the gag up. I don't care the threat. But after today, God will take you from a life of story to a life of testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, everywhere God is, testimony is bound. Everywhere God is, testimony announces his glory and power. God can visit you quietly. But he has decided to come in a large way so that you can have a large testimony. The Bible said in Psalm 23, verse 5, See, dash prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemy. Whether your enemy exists, exists or not, God is planning a big testimony for you. 
in the name of Jesus, whether they gag up against you or not, God is planning a big testimony for you. Testimony that will shock the amount. Obi Ozito, you welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Keep sharing, keep sharing. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep sharing. The Bible says, Thou shalt be prepared as a table before me in the presence of your enemy. What does it prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy? To give you a supernatural testimony. I declare God will prepare a table before you, not in their absent, but in their present. <laughs> That's what I'm enjoying today. The people that say, let me see how you will make it. God proved to them that, that because they say so, because they have concluded it by my matter, God proved to them that my matter, that no man can conclude it. He, he set up a table for me in the presence of my enemy. If you are watching me now, you are the next in line that God will set a table in the presence of your enemy. And your enemy, they will only be shocked at your God. I said, what does God appear a table for you in the presence of your enemy? To prove to them that he is the one that has your life in his heart. That your enemy does not have your life in their heart. Hmm. This morning I declare, everything that makes you to give story, whatever cause story your life is here by or put there this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, today God will visit you. In the mighty name of Jesus. God now say, God will visit you. Anita, God will visit you. For me now, God will visit you. God will, God will visit you. In the mighty name of Jesus, mercy Paul. I say, God will visit you. Charlie Do, God will visit you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Charlie Do. Lovely man, thank you for what you said to me yesterday. God will honor you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every voice open up for you, Charlie Do. In the name of Jesus, the nap wrap. Your time has come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me very well. When God visits an old woman called Elizabeth, you know, it's like all hope was lost. He gave her a big pregnancy that she that she has to that she cannot add herself for five months. A miracle that will make you not to add yourself. If you do you add yourself, there will be seen it in you, we manifest in your life. A breakthrough that you cannot add yourself. But openly, the, the all will see it is coming to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But you find that a look one from five to seven. A miracle that you know the woman could not ask at yourself. Someone is watching me right now because you have come before the Lord this, today, this morning. He has rolled away every reproach in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree every story you have been telling. Is turned to testimony this morning. In the name of Jesus, this morning I prophesy God will give you a testimony that will embarrass even you. In the name of Jesus, testimony that will embarrass you is coming to you. A breakthrough that will embarrass you is coming to you. A miracle that will embarrass you is coming to you. Elizabeth was barren for many years, but in her old age, God visited her and turned her story. To testimony this morning, God will tell your story to Marty Marty testimony. I decree God will decorate your life with a testimony that will close the mouth of your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Testimony that will close the mouth of your enemy is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I remember the story of a woman called Hannah. The enemy laughed at her until she shed tears, but the day that God visited her. He turned a story to testimony, <laughs> including me. That will be to you. God will turn your stories into testimony. In the name of Jesus, First Samuel 1 verse 6 to 7, and as adversary also provoke a score for, for to make a fleet, because the Lord has shut the up a womb. And as he did year to year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her, therefore she wept and did not eat. So at times you cry to God, 
you say, Lord, today I'm fasting. You, as you are fasting, you are crying. I don't know where the enemy of your destiny has been mocking you. But this morning, it shall come to an end. That mockery shall come to an end. Every mockery will be converted to great, great testimony in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. After today, in that thing that they have been laughing you at, God will turn it to become a testimony for you in the name of Jesus. Whatever they have be in any way they have mocked you, I say God will turn it to testimony for you in the name of Jesus Christ. It happened to me when I was mocked. When I was a laughing stock, laughing, laughing stock. You know, when you get to that level, just know you are close to your testimony. That means the word they have concluded. But let me tell you that what God has not concluded with you yet. I don't know where the enemy of your destiny has been mocking you. But this morning, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. In the name of Jesus, after today, in that thing that you have been, that, people, that makes people to love you, I say God will turn it to testimony for you in the mighty name of Jesus. They mock Anna or to the day that God turned our story to testimony. First Samuel 2, verse 1 to 5. First Samuel 2, 1 and 5. And Anna prayed. Anna prayed and said, My heart rejoiced in the Lord. My own is exhausted, exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemy because I rejoice in the salvation. Ah, look at what she was going through. Look at what she was saying. But first said, they that we are full of they that we are full have hired out themselves for bread, to for bread, and they that we are hungry seized, so that the barrel has born seven, and she that has many children is worthy febri. I press her upon all my view this morning, a testimony that will disgrace those who have been laughing at you. Those that have been mocking you is coming to you in the name of Jesus. I say it again. I profess upon all my viewers right now a testimony that will disgrace those who have been laughing at you, those who have been mocking you, those who have been asking where is your God is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you believe it, say, I believe. Testimony that will silence your mockers. It's coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Bible tells me about a young man called Saul. The Bible said that he was a man from Benjamin, the smallest trap in Israel. But the day God visited him to decorate his life with testimony, this is what people began to say, First Samuel 10, verse 11 to 12. And it came to and it came to pass when all that knew him before time saw him. Behold, he prophesied among the prophet. Then the people said to one another, What is this that is come unto the son of Gash? He saw also among the prophet, and one of the same place answered and said, But who is their father? Therefore, it became a proverb. It's, it's so also among the prophet. I preserve upon all my viewers this morning a testimony that will make you become a proverb and a warder. is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. They saw so and asked. He saw also among the prophet and who is his father had decreed a testimony that will make men begin to ask questions about you. It's coming to you. A breakthrough that will make men to be asking about you. That will make you to become a proverb. It's coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm not just preaching this word. This is what I went through. <laughs> it's what I went through. I keep, I know I've repeated it again, but I went to the, it's a story at that time. I was in secondary commercial school, and after we everybody has passed out, we need to organize, they said we should a day for ourselves, you know, 
they are, we are going out of the school, setting us off. Core people know that uh, I cannot become anything in life. They know I can't become anything. I will come to them and say, let me take a picture with you because everybody is taking a picture. You know, they have to invent camera. That time there was no camera, no phone. So no phone, no camera. Even though there was, there was there's no phone at that time. To get of, of a phone that has a camera. If I have a phone as a camera that day, the whole world will hear by my name. The whole world will hear. Nobody has a phone. You, you can only invite somebody to come and visit the 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 farm came to the school to visit to take picture. So people were busy taking picture. They are friends. You know in school you are friends. That was the day I know I never have a friend. That was the day I know I don't have a friend. <laughs> <laughs> All I need to have is God. I never had, no, I, I thought they were my friends, but on the day of passing out, that we have to gather together to see for the last day, when I go and meet any of them taking picture, you know what they said? Wait after. They have taken the picture, they, are, they have gone. I'll go and meet the second set, wait after. I also I waited after. <laughs> I waited after, because the nose. I will not have I will not have money to contribute to people for the picture, but that was laugh of story. We got that told the story into testimony. I have to host my classmates. I hosted them. <laughs> the boy they could not allow them to join. It's not, it's not, God has not told the stories into testimony, so I invited them. For a, a gathering, not to prove to them a pastor, but to, just to prove to them, I go a tough story to a testimony. So I met everybody, sat, everybody we were already sat. When I came back, I draw attention of all the people. Everybody rose up for me. <laughs> I said, Everybody rose up for me. When they saw they had the siren coming. A miracle that will blow Sarai is coming your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, a miracle that will blow Sarai, that will cause cover to follow you, is coming your ways. The man, they thought that the man has no hope, that the man will not make it, was coming with Sarai. Not only Sarai, Rose Rose, all kind of cars. I said, God, what a mighty God you serve. Not only so press men following me. If you press men driving the cars, follow me to interview me. And when I got there, everybody rise up. A miracle that will make people around you to rise up is coming your ways. In the mighty name of Jesus, you see how God can change stories, laugh of story, into a laugh of testimony. He mocked, all of them mocked me. All of them, they saw my head. But they never knew that God was having me in his heart. Ah, they never knew that God, um, no, he's, a God he's, a, he's a mother. He mowed us. He mowed us. He can remove you. Let the devil mold you anyhow. God is able to remove you. God remold me into a different person. And he saw me and said, is it past, is it Alice we used to know that was a dumb that could not talk? When they asked him question in the school, it will end up fighting and they will throw, out, they will throw him out of the school. Is it the one we are studying for now? What can God not do? I've got to encourage you that that's why you must not give up. You see, God has transformed me. God has removed me to make you not to give up that you are next in land for a breakthrough. God will turn your story into mathematic testimony. Don't you see when I'm talking about my life experience? I feel the anointing. I feel the power of God coming upon me. I feel it. That's why I know somebody that is watching me now. You are next in land that God will take you from a life of story into a life of testimony. All those mockers, they will fear your God. Anyone that has said, let me see your God, they will truly see your God that you serve. That's why you must not give up. Don't give up. The God of Anna, 
he will visit you. The God of Elizabeth, he will visit you. The God of Pastor Alice, he is coming to your aid. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, look at those le four lepers. Look at how do they have out of fat. But look at what God did. How God fought for them. What they could not, what they could not achieve for many years. They were packing the gold and silver. What can God not do? And now God is, as they are packing, they are healing. They are healing. Do I look like the person that they were mocking before? But that person they were mocking before, the face was destroyed. I was reproached all over me. But when God not there to take me out of story, to a life of testimony, you can see how God can rebuild, how God can remake. It's God is your, 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 your claim in the heart of your maker. What do I say? I say you are a claim in the heart of a maker. You are a claim, 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 claim in the heart of a maker. He will remake you to what he wants you to be. Hallelujah. That's the God we serve. Say I am a claim in the heart of my maker. Oh Lord, make me to what will shock the mouth of my enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, how to turn your testimony, how to turn your story into testimony. How? Number one, <laughs> it's very important. You have to erase your memory, erase what you are going through, and receive and believe the word of God. Through my time, I did not see a man that God transformed like me that I would believe. But I believe the word of God. I believe that I was a clay, clay in the heart of my God. Just like if you can see yourself a clay in the heart of your maker, it will make you this morning. In the name of Jesus, receive and believe the word of God, no matter what you are going through. No matter the opposition, no matter the hunger, no matter the testing, no matter the hardship, believe the word of God. Luke 1 45 said, And blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance of those things which we are told are from the Lord. Every testimony is, a, is rooted in the word of God. I say every testimony is rooted in the word of God. Your testimony begins with the word of God, your testimony. You have to believe that word. I say your testimony begins with the word of God. Bible says in Matthew 4 verse 4, He said, but ye, but he has said and said, it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. <laughs> Don't look at your education. Don't look at your classmate now. Don't look at whatever result you got in your school. Rely on God's word. I'm proud of it. <laughs> I'm proud of it that I was a man that left school with F9, F9 parallel. F9 in English, F9 in mathematics, F9 in every subject. My best subject at that time was shorted. Why? Because you can make anything and they say shorted. I don't know what I wrote, but at least I'll feed the paper. I'll feed the, the question. I'll feed every year. So I was always the first to come out from shorted because you know, the devil is very crafty. I said they took at my brain. I don't know what they were talking. They took at my brain. When the teacher is communicating, I don't know, I don't understand what the man is saying. They took at my brain. But today, look at the kind of wisdom that God gave to me. Look at the wisdom God gave to me. I will give you a wisdom that will, super, that, that will supersede that of men in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. I said every testimony is rooted in the word of God. Forget about what the condition you are going through. Let your testimony be rooted in the word of God. The Bible tells us a story about four lepers who found themselves in a famine situation. The lepers. It seems as, as if there was no hope. No more hope. But the thing that turned their story into testimony was a word from God. The word of God turned their story into the testimony. They believed in what God said. In 2 Kings 7 verse 1 said, Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Don't say the Lord. Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shaking, for nothing. And God made and two measure of barley for a shaking in the gate of Samaria. Hmm. And we are leper. They face the gate. They face the gate. God, the word of God has declared it. They face the gate. Every great testimony starts with a word from God. When God appeared to Abraham, he gave him a word that started his testimony. Hallelujah. Genesis 12, verse 1, he said, Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of the country, and from the, from the Kidra, and from the father, the father's house, unto a lad that I will show thee. God will show you a lad of prosperity. He will show you a lad of fruitfulness. He will show you the promise of God must manifest in every of your life. Two, number two said, And I will bless of thee a great, I will, and I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great, and that shall be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and I will cause him that cause thee, and in thee shall all family of the earth be blessed. That's why be careful. How you think you can fight a man that God's bless? Be careful how you feel you can fight a man that God blessed. God said to Abraham, I will make thee a great nation. And I will bless, and I will bless thee, and I will make thy name great, and that shall be a blessing. How can you abort that kind of a mass destiny? You are, you are, you are, you, it will fall your head. How can you stop out with that kind of destiny? I say, I will bless thee that bless thee. That's why you see to them, people that believe in me, they are blessed. Watch this, the service, watch the church, and call and those that are against me, they are cursed. I declare upon you as men that believe in this man ministry that will get to me. You believe in it, you are blessed. As many that are walking against it, you are cursed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. The performances of your testimony start with a word from God. When God speaks, doors open. When God speaks, breakthrough appears. When God speaks, deliverance is sure. When God speaks, testimony are established. This morning, God will speak it to someone's to show what he mean now. I say God is speaking. Concerning you, for that person, say I receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When God gives the word, the testimony begin to manifest. Hallelujah. Your testimony will manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. It will manifest. I don't care what you are going through. Your testimony will show up. Psalm 68 verse 11, the Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. <laughs> the Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it, the word of God. Every great testimony starts with a word from God. So no matter what you are going through, I don't care the story that you are talking about, but I see God adding your story up with a breakthrough that will make your enemy say, is this the ages AJ man we used to know? Or is this a fairy man girl we used to know? Or is this a Sitian Ulubulu we used to know? Or is this Muji Shara we used to know? Is this the good Esther we used to know? Is it the good Nestor we used to know? Is it the Peter Umbuzi we used to know? That will be to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. When God told my story around, they were asking, is it, is it Pastor Alice? That we used to know. That was his story. All, his name was story, 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 story. 
story, story, story. Look at how God has transformed his life. This morning, I don't know who I'm communicating to. I see God transforming your life. In the name of Jesus, I've come to encourage this morning that you are a clay in, in, in your mother's heart. You are a clay in God's heart. Declare that. Say, I am a clay in God's heart. I'm a claim, a claim in, in God's heart. Tom, Tom, you are a claim in the heart of God. And I say, God, remove you. In the name of Jesus, Victoria Kid, you are a claim in the heart of God. I say, God, remove you. Larry, Zuara, you are a claim in the heart of God. I say, God, transforming you. Rebecca Soya, you are a claim in the heart of God. I say, God, remove you. In the name of Jesus Christ, say, I am a claim in the heart of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, that is my life too. I say my life was nothing. Was nothing. Nothing, nothing. I think uh, Larry was in my house. He was in my house. Next time you come, I will take you upstairs. I will take you to the middle, to the last floor. You know how truly how God can made. Ali, uh, Rem, Ali, I, I love that. God will remove you. Oh, I love that. Remove me, oh Lord. You are a clean in God's heart. I love that prayer point. Remove me, oh Lord. Oh Lord, remove me. I be clean in your heart. Oh Lord, remove me. That's the prayer point. Oh Lord, I be clean in your heart. Oh Lord, remove me. Come with anointing. That comes with anointing. Oh Lord, I be clean. A clean in your heart. Oh Lord, remote me, remote me. That's a powerful prayer poet. God, that's a good prayer poet. Your time has come. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will remote you. Cry to God this morning, oh Lord, I'm a, I'm a clean in your heart. Oh Lord, remote me, remote me, remote me, remote me. So people will know truly that you exist in my life. Remote me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Psalm 105, verse 72 to 21. He set a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they ought with fatness. He was laying in iron until the time that his word came. The word of the Lord trod him. The king set and lose him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. He made him lord over his house and ruler over all substance. Joseph remained a slave and a prisoner until the word, until the day that his word came. When, the, when, when his word came, he was changed to become a priest and a, priest, a, a prime minister. Immediately his word came, his testimony appeared. The word of God is coming to you this morning and your testimony will appear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I am a clear in the mighty heart of God. O oh Lord, remote me. I may clear in the mighty heart of God. O oh Lord, remote me. O oh, be that the good prayer point. I may clear in the mighty heart of God. O oh Lord, remote me. Listen to me very well. It's not you pray prayer one prayer of one to hundred that may God answer you. Without prayer, you can pray for all for hundred time. O oh Lord, I may clear in your heart. That prayer requires but emotional. You have to pray. I'm a clay in your heart. Oh Lord, <coughs> remove me. I'm a clay. That's the area you have to cry. What's in your heart? I'm a clay in your heart. Oh Lord, oh Lord, remove me. I'm a clay in your heart, Lord. Oh Lord, remove me. Remove me. Remove me. Remove me. I'm a clay in your heart. In, in your heart. Oh Lord, remove me. And that was a good prayer point. You, you brought that right now out of the message. I'm telling you, the people are point. I'm a clay in your heart. Oh Lord, my children, they are clean in your heart. Oh Lord, made us, remove us, remove me. This is not the life I want to live. Oh Lord, remove me. This is not my kind of life, Lord. Oh Lord, remove me. The God that was able to remove Pastor Alice, the God that remove Abraham, the God that removed. Anna, remote me, change my name. 
from barrenness to fruitfulness. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Church, that's a great prayer, but you have to pray all through today. Pray today. Remove me, Father. Oh Lord, remove me. I'm a clay in your heart, oh Lord. Remove me. I'm not meant to be a barren woman. I'm not meant to, I mean, I'm not meant to be a poor man. I'm not meant to be in this level I am today. Oh Lord, I am a clay in your heart. Remove me. It's a prayer point. It's a prayer point. As in, it's not praying or dread prayer kind of prayer. I remember when I was growing up as a young as a young man of God or as a young I just know about God. I only pray oh yeah, one prayer point every day. What was the prayer point? Oh Lord, let oh, oh Lord reproduce yourself in my life. Oh Lord, reproduce yourself in my life. That was the prayer I was praying every day. I don't know how God that prayer comes to my mind. Oh Lord, reproduce yourself in my life. Oh Lord, reproduce yourself. I cry every day as I pray that prayer. One prayer. Not uh, that, that, that every time. The prayer that, that is filled with emotional. Prayer that you know that God has answered you. Just like that, that prayer. I'll be clear in your heart. Oh Lord, remove me. You throw yourself to Him. And we answer the question. You throw yourself to him, Lord. I may claim in your heart. Oh Lord, remote me. Remote me. Remote me. Remote me. Remote me financially. Remote me spiritually. Remote me in every area of my life. Remote me. I see someone who will commit to pass this money. It's a word from God. I see someone testimony appearing right now. Someone is here. That, that story in your life is about to change into testimony. I say it's changed to testimony. I see that situation, that, that condition, that challenge, that crisis that has made you a storyteller. After today, you will give your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will share your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. For your story to be turned to testimony, you must receive and key into the word of God for that situation to change. What does the word of God say about situation? A bad condition, a bad change. The, Lord, the day the word of God was released, the family was broken, and the four lepers entered into their testimony. You are about, you are entering into your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone is watching me now. This encounter, you will enter into your testimony. You will encounter this God, and you will enter into your testimony. The word of God concerning you is coming right now that will make you enter your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Many, Mary believed the word of God. Mary believed the word of God for her life, and there was a performance of those things that God told her. I said, I believe the word of God, and the, look, I see, I see how God has performed his miracle. Listen to me. You remain a storyteller until the day that your word come. You must key into what God is saying about your issue right now for your story to become a testimony key into the word of God. Nothing happen without the word. Nothing happen without the word. Nothing happen without the word. How does the word of God affect my life when I was going through what I was going through? It was on Wednesday. And that day, they were asking questions. Everybody was asking questions. And what was the, the topic? They were preaching about the man of God was preaching the thing. The thing um, it was two, two, two verses in the Bible. The one that said, He said, I was asked, I asked the question. I was there, I know my word came. I was trying to remember the word that the word now. The thing that's, that is impossible with men, with God, it is possible. I was listening. The things that are, are impossible with men, with God, it is possible. 
with men because that was my problem. I'm not educated. I will not be successful. I don't have a work. A, I didn't learn any work. I will not be successful. And the preacher was said, with men, this is impossible. But not with God. That with God, all these are possible. Then I, I was not listening to what man was saying. You mean with God, I can become great? With that education? You mean with God, I can become better in life? I can have food in my table with God? You mean with God, I can, I can, I can go and treat my story to testimony? I came to that word of God. That thing ate that is so me. I'm going to feed myself. I was not saying myself not educated again. I was not, I, I stopped condemning myself. I started condemning, you know, because those days we used to, we used to say those days, oh, I wish that is my father. I'm telling you, we used to say, I wish that is my father. But I regret that word. It was better I stick to God than say, I wish that is my father. Let go become your father. Submit yourself to God. Submit yourself to God. Don't submit yourself to men. With men, this is impossible. But not with God. That word came to me that day. That changed my mentality. That changed my word. That changed, that gave me confidence. That makes me know how we break through. That makes me believe the word of God. Because it's obvious that what I'm going through, anywhere I go, is impossible. You can't make it. You're not educated. You can't get that job. You're not educated. You cannot wear those clothes. You're not educated. You cannot talk this way. But not with God. With God, all things are possible. And truly today, that has, that was for me. Up to now, I don't care what is happening. All I see with God, all things are possible. With God, I will get my church. I will rise up again. I'm back on, I'll, I'll be back on my feet again. That's why I'm not giving up. Men will think they have hurt you, they have finished you, but not with God. That's why I love that prayer just now that I was preaching one of my son transform it into prayer. I was only talking, I don't lie. I got a revelation right now there. I was always preaching. I was always saying we are clean in the heart of our maker. And and I saw that prayer. Oh Lord, oh Lord, remove me. Oh Lord, remove me. When you put I am a clean, you are a, I'm a clean in your heart. Oh Lord, remove me. God will remove you. Nothing happened without the word of God. I just told you just now what boost my mentality. What make me ignore darkness and a breeze light. What make me ignore the devil, the witches, a wizard, ignore light. The word of God, when it comes to you, he alerted you, he alerted you, ignite you to be a light. John 1 verse 1 3 said, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. <laughs> in the beginning was the Word of God. <clears throat> All things were made by the Word. Every testimony is made by the Word. When the word appear, your testimony will show up. Believe it. Someone is watching me before 24 hours is over, your word will appear. In the mighty name of Jesus, so if somebody is watching me now, your word has already appeared and your testimony will show up expressly. If you're that person, shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Sickness and affliction, I give you quick notice by the word of God. Darkness, I give you quick notice by the word of God. Poverty, I give you quick notice by the word of God. Wherever the word is upset, there will be. I say, wherever the word is upset, there will be sickness, affliction, oppression, 
and bondage. Wherever the world is upset, there will be poverty, shame, reproach, and disappointment. But where the word of God appears, testimony show up. Testimony show up. Testimony will show up. Someone is watching me now this morning. The word of God is coming for your testimony. It's coming right now for your testimony. Receive it. I say the word of your lifting shall locate you today in the mighty name of Jesus this morning by the word of the Lord. I decree, wherever the enemy has held you captive, receive your freedom, receive your liberty, receive your triumph in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By God's grace, we will talk more of this tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will talk about this tomorrow. No, I'm telling you, you need to know those things. No, you want to see light, your life transform, I praise the word of God. I declare, as many watching me right now, he had decreed a suddenly miracle. A suddenly miracle will locate to right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Suddenly, they will remember you and give you your right. A suddenly, in the name of Jesus. Suddenly, your healing is coming right now. Suddenly, your miracle will appear right now. Suddenly, your breakthrough will manifest. Suddenly, your children will manifest in that thing that you are believing God for. Suddenly, your testimony will show up in the mighty name of Jesus, so one is watching me right now. After this encounter, by a miraculous intervention, God will suddenly deliver your testimony into your heart. If you believe, we shall Jesus. This morning, whatever sickness, reproach, failure, disappointment that you are, that brought into your life, I decree their total destruction. I decree total destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. So one is under the sound of my voice in that situation, in that crisis, in that challenge, in that condition, because you are you believe God's word. This morning, as you act on His word by faith. And intervention is taking place in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And intervention is taking place now in your life for that person. Shout Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning, your story shall be changed to testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God shall walk waters for your breakthrough, your healing, your deliverance, your salvation, your promotion, your lifting, your establishment, your settlement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is committed to his word over your life. I say God is committed to his word over your life. God is committed to his word over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a professor. He speed performances of the word of God over your life. He speed, he speedly performances. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, whatever story exists in your life that does not glorify God, this morning they are changing it to testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are changing it to mighty, mighty testimony. If you believe it, shall Jesus, shall Jesus, shall Jesus, shall Jesus say, Oh Lord. Turn every story in my life to testimony. Oh Lord, turn every story in my life to testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, turn every story in my life into testimony. Let the mercy of God provoke a divine intervention in my life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the mercy of God provoke a divine intervention in my life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command a supernatural turnaround in every area of my life. I command it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, in these few weeks, to, to, to next year, to 2024, I declare I will see the word of God turning around, turning all story to testimony. In these few weeks, this one month plus few weeks, my God will turn my stories into testimony. Oh Lord, I may, I may, I may yes, you are my mother, Lord. I may claim in your heart, Lord, oh Lord, remove me. I may claim in your heart, oh Lord, remove me. Oh Lord, I may claim in your heart, remove me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I may 
claim. I'm a claim in your heart. Oh Lord, remove me. Yes, my children, I claim in your heart. Oh Lord, remove us, Lord. Remove us. Remove my life. Remove my ministry. Remove all that causes me. Remove my viewers that are watching me right now. Remove them in the mighty name of Jesus. They are clean in your heart. Oh Lord, remove them in the name of Jesus. This morning, every story in your life that makes me to ask you where is your God, I command it to turn to testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the word of your change to locate you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you have faith, receive grace for rising, receive grace to rise up, grace to rise up, grace to rise up in the mighty name of Jesus. I see rising, I see rising star. Imagine after today, I see rising stars. Imagine today, I see. Rising stars, you are part of them. You are part of the rising star. You are in the mighty name of Jesus. God is making you, is making you, is transforming you in the name of Jesus. This is your season for supernatural testimony. Therefore, receive yours now. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your testimony in the name of Jesus. I prophesy the God who visited who visited Elizabeth in, in her barrenness and turned her story to testimony shall visit to as Presley. In the name of Jesus, I say, I prophesy, the God who visited Elizabeth in her barrenness and turned her story to testimony, that God will visit you. I say, He will visit you. He will visit you. The God who visited Joseph in the prison and turned his story to testimony, that God will visit you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the God who remember Anna in her reproach and turned her story to testimony, that God will visit you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the word of God you have had this morning shall go forth and walk waters in your life. They will walk miracles in your life. They will walk transformation in your life. Receive a supernatural assistance right now. Receive a word of your change. A word of transformation. Receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and speak to every strange situation in your life. Be reversed right now to testimony. Be reversed now to waters in the mighty name of Jesus and cause every unfruitful work, unfruitful work of the enemy in your life from the root and command it to die, to die, to die by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Receive that promotion. Receive your life partner. Receive your old babies. Yes, receive it. A same in that assignment. Complete that project. Complete that project. A same in your assignment. Receive breakthrough. Begin to manifest financially. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me say it again. I say, in the name of Jesus, receive your promotion. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever you need promotion, receive it this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree. Wherever you need that love partner from, receive your love partner. Receive it now. Receive your own. Oh baby, go and carry your babies in the name of Jesus. And send in that assignment, complete that project you have started in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive that breakthrough. Begin to, begin to manifest financially. Receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In that team, the Lord shall uh, take you and lift you, elevate you, and give you a miracle that will silence all your enemy. In the name of Jesus, I say again. Whatever it is that will not allow you to enter into your testimony, in your business, in your finance, in your project, in your health, in your marriage, in your ministry, it is broken forever in the mighty name of Jesus. It is broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I have called this morning to give you a word from the Lord. In that team, in that team, you are believing God for, in that team, you are trusting God for, you shall see the waters of God, you shall see the water of God or Pretty in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I receive it. The same anointing that is in the word of God. That anointing is coming to you now to break that yoke. That yoke that is resisting you is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy that after today, every tough time, every crisis, every trials, every temptation that you are passing through shall turn to testimony for you. Say, I receive it, I receive it, I receive it, I receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I receive it, I receive it. Because I appreciate God this morning. I appreciate God that you have received that miracle. And nothing can stop you. They will begin to manifest. I declare they will manifest. The Lord will answer 
planted your feet to walk into your breakthrough. You are walking into your miracles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What a mighty God we serve. I declare God will never give walk into your breakthrough. I'm not going to walk into your miracle. Walk into your breakthrough. Angela Jesus, walk into it. City Alouel, walk into your miracle. Amazing Joshua, walk into your miracle. As many believe God for anything, I declare. Evil is approving it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, your heaven is open up. In Jesus' name, what a mighty God we serve, Pamela. Your heaven is open up. Anita, your heaven is open up. Yes, Amazon, your heaven is open up. Yes, like Anna, Kamara, your heaven is open up. Carry the Evasto, your heaven is open up. Abosedi, Adikumi, Abasa, your heaven is open up. In the name of Jesus, I your over the Mary, your every is open up. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many watch me now, Pamela faithful, your every is open up. Tam Tam, your every is open up. Tam Tam, in the name of Jesus Christ, Mary Omolato, Bonnet, your every is open up. Apostle, Apostle Robert M. Dizani, your every is open up. Apostle, your every is open up. The ministry of Jesus will be seen all over you. Toby, Alpha, heaven is open up for you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, let the ministry of Jesus be, 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 be seen in your life, Apostle, in the mighty name of Jesus. Fairy Moga, heaven is open up. Yes, Ekane Benedict, heaven is open up in the name of Jesus. Yes, obviously, to your every is open up for your family in the name of Jesus. You, you will be walking into your supernatural in the name of Jesus. Esther Lufa, your every is open up, Sonia. Every is open up, Matthew. Every is open up, Molly Palette. Every is open up, Baby Way. Your every is open up in the name of Jesus. Charlie Do. Every is open up, as many watching me now. Your every is open up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That woman that called me yesterday from America, I don't know your name. You know, if you, are, if, you are, if you are watching, if you are DM, tap into it. Your every is open up. Your every is open up for your son, for your son and yourself. Reim, Ali, your every is open up in the name of Jesus. Jennifer, your every is open up. Yes, Philomena, your every is open up. Grace William, your every is open up in the name of Jesus. Yes, Rose John, your every is open up. Yes, your every is open up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Are you okay? Bless you. Your every is open up. Masona, let's come. We pray for you. Amy Osage, your every is open up. Isli Maswell, your every is open up. Larry, so what are your every is open up? As yes, Aliado, your your every, your every is open up. Masona, your every is open up. In the mighty name of Jesus, your every is open up for your. your are you using because to affect your brothers? Your every is open up. In the mighty name of Jesus, Apostle Robert, your every is open up. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many watching me now, your evil is open up. You have crossed over from a life of ordinary story into a life of supernatural glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, and God love you, Mom. By God's grace, I will see you again. Say time, say time tomorrow to continue from this place. How God can move you from life of story to a life of testimony. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. God, I mean, is it God of possibility? Yes. God of possibility. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To you be all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. To you be all the honor. I cover the blood of Jesus, all of you. Your time has come.
Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Jesus. There is nothing impossible unto God. Your time has come. I will see you same time tomorrow in continuation of what we have started today. And I want to encourage you don't give up. Joy Raw, don't give up. Ferry, Margaret, don't give up. Grace William, don't give up. Titi, Maburo, don't give up. Choosing, don't give up. CTM, don't give up. Mariton, Bode, don't give up. Angela, Emmanuel, don't give up. Caro, Dean, Evastro, don't give up. Caro, Emilio, don't give up. Sonia, Manti, don't give up. Olam, Rewajo, don't give up. Raheem, Ali, don't give up. Pastor, Sunday, don't give up. Bibi Wayne, you can't give up. Never. Your time has come. Uh, please keep, st keep sharing. St keep sharing. I want at least 20 people to share right now. Cordelia, I met you. Don't give up. Never. Yes, don't have to give up. Don't give up. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Double game. God, man, you can never give up. No, no way. Because you have seen God. I'm not going mean, You can't give up. No way. Yeah, give up can be your usher. Victorious, Victoria, you can't give up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Politin, man, Mary, you can't give up. In the name of Jesus. I'll see you. Sit down tomorrow. And if you are led to give, don't insist it, give. And never will be open up for you. I love you. I God love you more. Your time has come. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>